How's it going, guys? Andrew here with Justified EDC, uh, and I have a kind of holiday gift guide last minute stocking stuffers kind of video for you. I know there's been a lot of these out here in the EDC community, um, and I just wanted to kind of throw my hat in the ring and give you guys some ideas. Um, you can take them or leave them. I'm going to try to keep all of these pretty cheap. Everything will be under $100 for sure. Most of these will be under $50. Um, but it's kind of going to be anywhere from like five to a hundred, depending. Um, but I just thought I, this is just some stuff that I have around, uh, that's, uh, cheap, but effective and good quality. And I think would make great stocking stuffers or last minute gift ideas. Um, and there's going to be a bunch of different categories. We have some knife maintenance. We have some tools. We have some actual knives. We have some other EDC gear. We have some medical stuff. We have some, uh, gun guy stuff. So we're going to go through everything uh, one at a time. I will leave links for everything that I talk about down in the description uh, as I can find them. Um, I believe most of these are going to be available on Amazon, so you should be able to get prime shipping uh, pretty quickly to you. Um, if not, I'll leave uh, the manufacturer's websites and uh, you can see for yourself kind of what their shipping times are. But I try to pick stuff that's pretty available. Um, I apologize if anything sells out by the time that I drop this video, but we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, as always, I just want to thank the channel, uh, the sponsor of the channel real quick, Auxiliary Manufacturing. Um, at this time, I think he still has some pocket bowies up on his website. There might be a couple things uh, up there still. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get them by Christmas, uh, but I do have a discount code with him, 10% uh, off, uh, that was down in the description as well. So you can check those out. And thank you again to Mike for sponsoring the channel. So let's get right into some stuff here. So let's do some knife maintenance stuff here first. Um, and actually the first thing I'm going to talk about, uh, ironically, is uh, something that you can't get anymore, this specific thing. This is a strop. And I just want to, I'm bringing this out here just as an example of a strop. Um, but if you're looking to buy for someone that's a knife guy, a strop, a leather strop is going to be a great idea. This one in particular is from Pocket Strop, um, who just announced that they are closing down shop. Um, they were running some sales to get rid of their leftover inventory, so I'll leave a link to their website, but I'm not sure if anything's still in stock. But you can just search leather knife strop out there, and you're going to find a bunch of great options. I really like the small ones just because they're handy to throw in a pack or whatever just to touch up your knives. Um, and then to go along with those, uh, some compounds, because a leather strap by itself is great, but adding some compound on top, you're going to get even finer edges. Um, this is just happens to be the stuff I use, uh, Sharpal or Sharp, Pal, I don't know how to say it, but this is just green compound. This is going to get, uh, once you kind of go through your, pro your sharpening process, once you have that wire burr right there on the edge of your knife, on the apex of your edge, this is a good way to knock that off and kind of just refine that edge. So both of those are great options. Um, ter in terms of sharpening as well, I think this is like the most expensive thing on the list. The Spyderco Triangle Sharp Maker, an absolutely amazing uh, little sharpening kit here. Um, and I'm not going to get everything out and show you, but um, this is a nice little compact sharpening kit. Uh, comes with some ceramic uh, stones. Uh, some finer grit and some coarser grit stones. You have brass guards. You have two different set angles. Um, and then it has some other cool tricks up its sleeve, like you could stick one of these stones in the end um, and use it to sharpen like kitchen knives uh, or uh, kitchen shears and scissors. Uh, you can use this uh, piece down here in the middle to sharpen like fish hooks. And there's a spot on the back that you can lay these down next to each other and use them like a freehand stone like that. So lots of great options. If the person that you're shopping for already has one of these, another great option is they have some stones that you can set, that you can buy separately um, that are are harder grit. They also have uh, they have like diamond stones. They have some higher abrasive stones. They also have a ultra fine set of ceramic stones for uh, refining your edges even more. Um, and then like the diamond stones going to be for your, like your really high uh, hardness steels. So the Sharp Maker itself is a great uh, option. I think these run about $80 to $90 wherever you get them. So not exactly a stocking stuffer, but an, a readily available last minute gift idea. Um, if you're looking for more uh, stocking stuffer on the sharpening and maintenance side, this WorkSharp EDC Micro Sharpener is really, really cool. So what you have here is on either side, you have a ceramic and a diamond stone just to kind of touch up your edges on the go. These angles here do act as angle guides. I believe they're about 20 degree angles. So you can get a general 
idea of uh, what angle you're sharpening with. And then you also, in the middle here, have these little bit drivers that fold out here, and you can put three quarter inch bits in here. I just happen to have a T10, a T8, and a T6, because those are gonna be the most uh, common uh, torque sizes for uh, taking apart like folding knives. I believe those are the three that it comes with, but you can put whatever quarter inch bits you want in there. And then on the end, you have a spot where you can take the bit out. You can put it in here and you can actually use this as a driver. So this is just a nice little uh, maintenance tool, easy to throw in a bag or in your pocket even if you're maintaining your knives all the time, but a great little stocking stuffer idea. And I think these run about 12 bucks. Another one is some kind of pivot oil. I just have knife pivot lube out here because that's what I use. I got this bottle forever ago. I think they don't even look exactly like this anymore. But you can get a couple different weights. You can get like the ultra fine for like uh, your your bearing knives. This regular uh, weight is just kind of good for just general purpose. And then they have a heavyweight option with a little bit thicker for uh, washers and stuff like that. But any kind of uh, knife pivot oil. Uh, guys are always running out of, you're always going to need more. So I don't think anyone's going to say no to uh, another bottle of pivot lube. And these come in, I think at like, uh, I want to say they're like $12 each. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll leave links down in the description to all of those, but that's going to kind of be your knife maintenance category. I think you can't really go wrong with any of those options. Uh, so after we talked about knife maintenance, uh, let's talk about some actual knives that we can jump into. So Again, we're thinking cheap, we're thinking stocking stuffers, but we still want things to be good quality. Uh, when I think of cheap yet effective knives, uh, nothing comes to mind more than the Cold Steel Kudu. Uh, this is a very cheap knife. I believe these are made in Taiwan. Uh, actually, these are made in China. Um, $10. You can get these online for like $10 on Amazon. Um, it, it's just kind of a unique knife. Um, but still very effective. So you just have injection molded handles. You have this uh, ring lock here on the back that's kind of this ratcheting mechanism. Then when it's open, that locks the blade open, uh, locks the blade open, and then you pull up on this ring, and you can close the knife. Uh, I think this is just like an 8CR, 7CR, 5CR, yeah, so nothing special on the steel, but nice thin stock, full flat grind, actually cuts very, very well, nice and big. This is great to just throw in your car to have an extra knife or to travel where you're, you're worried about you're going to lose it or something like that, you're going to have to ditch it. Um, so that's a great option for those, and they're built very, very well. Uh, the, the lock comes a little tight. Um, I found you can kind of bend your locked up, your lock up and make it a little bit more easy to use, but these are probably your best bang for your buck in terms of some, just something that's kind of unique, uh, and still built well, but very, very cheap. Like I said, like 10 bucks for these, and you can get the slip joint version of these, the Kudu light for even less, I think like $7. So, uh, if the knife guy or knife girl in your life doesn't have one of these already, I think that's a solid stocking stuffer option. Uh, jumping up in price a little bit is the Mercator Black Cat, whatever you want to call these. They go by a bunch of different names, but again, I'll leave links to all these. If you just search Black Cat Knife or Mercator Knife or like Otter Messer, um, you're going to be able to find these. And these are really cool, just uh, a stamped steel handle folded over, so I guess technically an integral. You have this back lock. And then you can get these in stainless or carbon steel blades. Mine is the carbon steel. Uh, you're going to get a little more edge retention out of the carbon steel, but is going to patina, as you can see. These are made in Germany. Uh, and they're just really solid options for, just again, something kind of unique. I, I actually do carry this occasionally. Again, uh, decently thin blade stock, full flat grind, cuts very well, very easy to sharpen. Um, and just, there's a couple different options. You can get these in different, uh, kinds of handles and colors and stuff like that. But just a really interesting little piece of uh, history. They've been making these for a long time, the exact same way over there in Germany. And again, I think these come in around 30, 40 bucks, depending on where you find them. Uh, and then the last thing in terms of knives that I'm going to say is, uh, case knives. Um, one, they're very collectible. So if someone that you know already collects case knives, uh, they're going to be happy with anything you get. They're, they're either going to have a duplicate of one they already like, uh, or it's going to be a new pattern for them. There are so many options out here. Uh, something that's probably going to be ready of, readily available is something like this uh, Mini Trapper in all kinds of different covers. 
Uh, mini copper locks are also pretty available if you want a locking option with a back lock. Again, lots of different options on the covers. And then if you can find one, one of my favorites recently that they brought back is the Barlow. Uh, these are absolutely awesome. They brought them back with half stops. And your case knives, depending on what you do, whether you get like the synthetic handles or bone or what model it is, you're going to range anywhere from like $30 to $80. Uh, so you have a lot of good options of price point and uh, just get, find one that you think they'll like. Find If they have a specific color or type of material that they like, there's a good chance that Case makes that in the blade shape or color or whatever that you're, the uh, knife person in your life is going to like. I think Case knives are an awesome buy uh, and a great stocking stuffer. These could, always, these could even be like an actual gift too because they're really, really cool. Like I said, they're collectible. A lot of people are really into those. All right, so knives out of the way. Let's go to some tool options, some actual tools. So one thing that I absolutely have to recommend is the Milwaukee Fastback. I guess this could have kind of gone in the knife category as well, uh, but I happen to like the Fastback that, I forget what the model number is, but it's the one that you have your uh, button lock uh, uh, utility knife blade. Quick change on that, just with the button here, very easy to swap your blades out, flip them around, all that good stuff. I say easy as I struggle to get it back in. Uh, very easy to use one-handed. Deep carry pocket clip or deep-ish carry. You have a bottle opener up here. You have down in here in the handle, you have some spare blade storage. You can see down in there, you kind of move this little liner lock over and you're able to store an extra blade in there, which is great if you're gonna be using these on a job site or something like that. You're gonna dole your blades out pretty quick, so it's nice to be able to have an extra one. And then you also have a locking bit driver here in the back that comes with uh, a quarter, you can use a double-sided quarter-inch bit on here. I usually, it comes with the standard uh, Phillips and flathead. That's what I keep in here. Uh, this is really get the great, the flathead can be used as a pry tool or anything like that. And then you have your Phillips head and it's locking, which is really, really nice. You have kind of this like left-handed uh, liner lock, but you can operate it right-handed, no problem. But having a locking driver on something like this is not something you find very often on multi-tools, let alone multi-tools that are this cheap. It does kind of have like a half stop here that you could use it almost like a T-handle, but it doesn't lock in that position. That's the only downside to that. But fully extended, you can get a lot of uh, reach with this. You can kind of choke back on it and get a lot of reach with this and a locking driver. So, And I think these uh, online are probably going to run you around $30, but if you go to like Home Depot or Lowe's, you can get these even cheaper uh, these are one of the best options out there, especially if you don't want to shop online. You can just go to any of your local hardware stores and they're going to have these. Uh, they also have just like your standard fastback that's going to be even cheaper. That's literally just the uh, utility knife holder. Still has the quick uh, change blades, but doesn't hold any extra blades, doesn't have any extra tools on it. Uh, but these are great options too if they just want a utility knife. So that's the Milwaukee Fastback. Can't recommend these enough. They're absolutely great options uh, for someone that just doesn't care about knives as much or has a lot of really nice knives and doesn't want to beat up their really nice ones on the job site or something like that. Uh, in terms of other utility knives here, uh, this is going to be kind of a wild card because I'm not sure how available these are going to be right now. Uh, this is the Giltec Rock. So this is just a utility blade holder here. You just slide the blade in and out. When it's out, it does lock in place, and you kind of just push down and slide it back in. Kind of has that locking mechanism here in the back. And it's very easy to kind of push here in the back and swap your blades out, just like that. Then you also still have a bottle opener here on the back. You have a, again, depending on what material you get these in, they're going to be soft, but you kind of have like a pry, scrape, drive kind of tool here on the back. You have a thread cutter, or I think they advertise this for like fishing line. Uh, it's not really a seatbelt cutter or anything like that. And then you have a spot in here you could even throw a quarter inch bit and kind of use it like a bit driver in a pinch. I would never really use it for that, but it's just a very nice lightweight. It's super lightweight. This one happens to be in aluminum. You can get them in titanium and brass and copper, all different kinds of options, different Cerakote options. Um, so I think the only place you can get this is on their website right now, and they've been kind of tedious of how they've been doing their drops, but 
These are very cheap. I think they, the aluminum ones run for around like 30 bucks and then it goes up in there depending on if you get higher end materials, but a nice little box cutter option if that's something that they want. You can even uh, get pocket clips for them. I think some of these now. Okay, what else? The Crescent six inch tape. I have absolutely loved these ever since I found them and I carry, I actually carry one of these every single day at work. Um, they're just a nice compact little, here you can see how small that is. Nice and thin, easy to just toss in. I toss this in the coin pocket of my jeans. Um, and then you have a six foot measuring tape. You just have your standard inches on this side. And then on this side, you have your inches broken down so that you can actually wrap this and measure uh, uh, the diameter of uh, round stock. So for me, I work in a machine shop a lot of times, so it's nice to be able to just quick wrap this and get a quick idea of what my stock thickness is if I don't have my calipers or my chronometer nearby. But a really handy little piece. Uh, it's always good to be able to measure stuff. And I think these come in at like $15. Uh, 10 to 15 dollars depending on where you're going to get them uh, and just they're built really well i've had no problems with mine uh just a nice little stocking stuff or option uh because no one wants to carry around a big bulky tape measure all day um the last tool option here and i know these are going to be on everyone's lists here these are the knipex cobras um these have kind of become become a meme a little bit in the community because uh, I mean, if, you're, if you've worked in the trades at all, you, you've known about these for a long time. And then the EDC community kind of caught on them, caught on to them, and people uh, have been carrying them and using them. Um, I'm not really sure how many people really have an everyday application for these. But if you're someone that does, uh, works in a trade, works in a warehouse, anything like that, and you n need a really good set of pliers... Um, the Kinepex Cobras are great. You can get them anywhere from four all the way up to like 18 inches. The EDCable sizes are really like the four to six inches. This happens to be the five inch version. Very adjustable. These are very useful tools uh, to really be able to grab onto bolts and stuff like that. Um, a lot better than like your needle nose multi tools like Leatherman. Also great if you do carry a Leatherman to have one of these as well. So you can kind of hold a, a, a bolt or hold a nut and be able to turn the bolt on the other side. Um, these are just great options. They're built in Germany. They're very well made. The five inch versions are about gonna run you about 30 bucks. You can get them on Amazon. Like I said, I'll leave links for all these, but um, if something like this isn't something that, uh, like if you're if the person you're buying for works in an office, maybe don't buy these, maybe buy something more like this. Uh, but if you are buying for someone that works in a trade, I think these are invaluable. So that will do it for the tool section. Uh, here are some kind of odds and ends that I guess could fall into the tool category, uh, but they're kind of more like keychain items. Uh, this is a rescue me tool. This is a kind of multi-tool here. This has this little clip that you can put on a keychain. You can hang it on your on your mirror in your car or anything like that. Keep it nearby, but you pull it off. You have a seatbelt cutter in here. You have like a manual glass breaker here that you can actually hit a window with. And then you have this spring-loaded glass breaker here that's got this, it's kind of hard to see, but it's got this pin in there that you, it's spring-loaded and you press it up against the window and that will break the window very, very easily. There's plenty of testing out there on these. These have been popular for years. Uh, they work very well and they're super, super cheap. Uh, you can get these on Amazon, like a one pack for I think $8. You can get like a three pack for $20, uh, but Throw one on your keys, throw a couple in your car, give some to your family and friends. This is something that in the world of preparedness is not a scary thing to people and it can be useful for literally everyone because everyone drives a car, or at least most people do, and everyone is at risk in getting a, in a car wreck. So uh, these are a great thing to give even like your kids, even if they're not driving yet. Um, just a, good, a really good tool to have around, very useful and very, very cheap. A great stocking stuffer option. Um, another keychain item here, is this is the in charge by rolling square and it is just a little charging cord but the trick about it is not only does it have these magnets here so you can loop it through your keychain and just have it hang there but you have usba on this side you have a lightning port that also doubles as uh, micro usb and then if you pull this and open it you have usb c on both sides so you can basically charge to and from any device, from a battery bank 
to your phone or your laptop or your tablet, from laptop to phone, to tablet to phone, vice versa. Pretty much anything you need to charge can be charged with this. Again, it's not the longest thing in the world when it's fully open. That's about as much reach as you get. But this has saved my ass so many times uh, when I don't have a charger or I'm with someone uh, that has a different kind of phone than me. Uh, I, like I said, I have an iPhone, so I don't have a lot of the Android charging cables, but now I do with this. Um, also great to throw in with a power bank if you're going to be somewhere where you need some extra battery, but you don't want a whole big cord wrapped up in your in your pocket. This is a great option for that. So I just throw this on my keys. I believe these are like $22, I think, on Amazon right now. Um, but you can get them in a couple different colors. And you can also get these in full length ones as well. Like you can get these from like three foot to six foot cables with these same connectors on the end. So if you travel a lot and you don't want to take a whole bunch of chargers, you can just get one of these at a, a longer length and you're going to be able to charge all of your devices with one little cord. So this is an awesome option uh, for literally anyone, even not someone that's into EDC. I gave one of these to my wife. She loves it. Uh, great options. The last thing here, Palm... Uh, pepper spray. Uh, pepper spray is great. I know it's usually marketed towards uh, women and everything, but um, I think it's Craig Douglas that says this is basically just being able to eye jab someone at a distance. Uh, these have a range, I think, of like 12 feet. Um, they're very well tested, very well known in the, in the uh, self-defense community. Um, being able to poke someone in the eye from, uh, from a pretty good distance is a great tool. Even if you're, a, if you're a guy and you have empty handed skills, you carry a knife, you carry a gun, this is still another great non-lethal option. You can't get in a whole lot of legal trouble for using one of these. Um, has a built-in pocket clip, which is great. Uh, it's nice and slim. The refills are, you can actually pull the bottom off of this and uh, change these refills out. You can get uh, water inserts to be able to practice with. Um, and there's also an option you can get one that has a keychain on it if you want to hang it on your keys. Um, but I highly recommend these. It's just nice. You kind of just lift this flap up and then press down on that button. It has this little nub here to indicate where your nozzle is, so where you're spraying. These are really, really good, and they're only like 12 bucks. I think like 12 to 15 bucks, depending on when you find them. When I just looked on Amazon, these were $12 a piece. Buy a couple of them, uh, stash them, throw them in your cars, stash them around the house, give them to your kid, uh, a woman in your life. Or if you're just a guy and you want a non-lethal option so that you don't always have to go to your gun or a blade, this is a great option. So that's kind of it for the like keychain, uh, other tools. Some things that kind of fall into that keychain character though are some flashlights. Um, I, there was another flashlight I wanted to include in this uh, that I don't have right now, which was the Streamlight MicroStream, just a really good either rechargeable or AAA light. I had one. I don't know where it went. That's a great option for if someone wants a, a, an EDC light. It's easy to carry. You can clip it onto a hat. Uh, those are great. They're like 20 or 30 bucks, I believe. Um, some options for either like a small in-pocket light or a keychain light, though. This is the Streamlight Pocket Mate. And it is very tiny. It's smaller than a key. You have just this button activated uh, uh, switch here. You have a carabiner so you can clip it onto your keys or you can throw a lanyard on it. It does come with this pocket clip, which I guess you could just throw it in a pocket, but you can also put this on the brim of a hat and use it like a headlight. Uh, and it's very lightweight. It's not going to weigh your hat down. Has a couple of brightness modes has two different brightness modes. You have a low and a high. Actually has a really good amount of output. I forget exactly what it is. Like I said, I'll leave links so you can look it up. And it is rechargeable by micro USB right there. Um, so this is a great option. And again, if you have something like this on your keys with this, if it ever goes uh, dim, you can uh, throw it on the, on the charger in your car. These are a great little option. You can stash them pretty much anywhere, hang them on your keys. Um, and I think these go for like 20 bucks, give or take. And then the other option here is the one of the cheapest Surefires you can get. This is the Surefire Sidekick. Um, kind of looks like your uh, key fob for your car. It is micro USB rechargeable, has three brightness modes, low, medium, and high. Um, just a nice little pocket light. I have a lanyard on here. I'll sometimes just throw this in my pocket if I'm just going to walk outside quick to get mail, something like that. You could hang it on your keys very much. If, if you're someone that doesn't have a lot on your keys, this is kind of just, you can add that. It kind of just looks like a key fob. Uh, great little pocket light, though. And again, one of the cheapest Surefires you're going to be able to get. Um, 
Obviously, if you want to buy uh, someone a, a Surefire light for, for Christmas, that's awesome, but they really get pricey. So this is a good option if the person in your life likes Surefire. All right, the last piece pieces of EDC stuff I would consider before we go on to like the medical and the gun guy stuff are some pens and markers. Uh, this here is just a stainless steel case for a Sharpie. Uh, I think for about like 10 bucks on Amazon, you can get, it's like a five pack of Sharpies and you get this stainless steel insert. So the way it works here, you get your cap, you unscrew this collar, just like that, collar comes off and you just put a regular Sharpie in here. So it's just a stainless steel tube, put your Sharpie in there, throw the collar down over it, screw that in. I think there's some kind of o-ring in there but it keeps it very very tight there's no rattle or anything like that but it's just a, a more durable way of having a sharpie around i like this having this at work sometimes because i'm always breaking the plastic clips uh off of my sharpies so this one has a nice spring uh metal clip and then the rest of this is all metal as well i guess another option for it is like a little bit of like uh kind of like an impact tool uh, if you if we really needed it, something like that. But I think it just nice has a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy, uh, but this feels a little bit more durable than just having a regular Sharpie. So these are even great for if you keep, I know I keep Sharpies all over my uh, my shooting gear. So like I have one on my chest rig and there's one on my range bag and stuff like that. Uh, just good to have at the range uh, to mark targets and stuff like that. And uh, this just gives it a little bit more of a durable feel. So again, like you get like a five pack of Sharpies and this uh, stainless steel case for like 10 bucks. And then the other thing here is the Skillcraft Avi Aviator B3. And this is a really neat pen. Uh, it actually has three inserts inside that you just get to by twisting. So you have a black pen, a red pen, and a mechanical pencil that, that you can then click to get the lead out just like you would a normal mechanical pencil. But you just then twist to get to your different options. So it's kind of like those ones we had as kids where they were all like multicolored and you had the different levers on the top to get to all the different colors. But in a nice aluminum construction, nice and slim, much slimmer than those other ones, metal pocket clip. And on the back here for your mechanical pencil, you unscrew that and you have an eraser. So if you're someone that uh, does a lot of writing or like I, like I said, I carry this at work for a while because it's nice to have the option of a pen and a pencil for a non-permanent option uh, to kind of mark parts and stuff like that. Um, this is a great little pen. These come in at like $22 and honestly, probably one of the, the, the most bang for your buck in terms of how much utility is packed into a little pen like this. Uh, Fisher Space Pens and stuff like that are great options as well, also cheap. Uh, but again, I think this just has that cool factor as well. And I don't see a lot of people talk about these, so this might be a cool surprise gift for someone. All right, let's get into some more serious stuff here. Let's do some medical. So medical gear is one of those things that we all know it's necessary. We all know we should carry it, but it's kind of like, Ugh, I don't want to go and buy more gauze. I want to go and buy more tourniquets. It just kind of feels like a disposable thing you're just throwing money at, but you know you need more of. So if someone that uh, you know is into shooting and all and preparedness and all this stuff and that you know they carry medical equipment or at least keep like a bag or an IFAC in their car or on their kit, um, replenishing some of their medical supplies can be awesome. So cat tourniquets are awesome. They're about 30 bucks a piece. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. You have to be a little careful though because there are some clones floating around. I would just recommend getting them right off of like North American Rescue or something like that. But cat tourniquets, kind of an industry standard. You can get them in the, the black uh, if you're going to be putting them on kit or if you're just going to be throwing them in a bag you don't care about high, the high-vis color. These orange ones are really good. They're very visible. Another thing uh, is some just flat compressed gauze. Uh, not only are these flat uh, compressed ones nice to be able to pack kits out because they're nice and slim, but these are also a great option where if you really don't want to carry a lot of medical gear, but you just want something, throw one of these packs in your back pocket. They're super lightweight, they're super thin, and you get actually a lot of utility out of this. You can pack wounds with them, you can use them as compression bandages, you can makeshift a sling with them. Um, they're just a lot of uh, utility out of some flat compressed gauze like that. Um, another great option right now, especially, is these Snake Staff Systems ETQ tourniquets. Uh, they are, again, up next to a cat. Very, very small, very, very lightweight, very easy to carry. 
Um, you can get these on Amazon now. They just announced that they put some of these on Amazon. So you can get these, the regular version, or you can get the wide, which is uh, the standard width of like a cat tourniquet. Um, the regular size actually fits into uh, double stack uh, magazine carriers as well. So if you're going to throw these on kit, you can have a pistol mag carrier. You can throw these in here. If you wear like a inside the waistband pistol mag carrier for a double stack, uh, these will fit in there. Uh, or you can just throw them in your pocket. I think they make some like elastic sleeves now you can get for them with clips on them. Uh, but these are really good options to be able to start EDCing some medical gear. Uh, me personally, I brought out here how I carry my medical in this uh, wilderness tactical pouch with an ETQ, some flat compressed gauze, and a Sharpie to be able to write on the tourniquet. Um, but yeah, those are uh, those are some great medical options. There's also stuff like chest seals and all that good stuff, um, but some really basic stuff that everyone can always use some more of, gauze and tourniquets. So there are some options for those. Again, snake staff are about $30, $32 on Amazon. You can get a couple packs of these for really cheap. Uh, you can get these on Amazon as well. And again, you, you can if you get them from the actual North American Rescue, you're a little bit more apt to not get clones, but I don't think they're really cloning gauze. So you're probably good on that on Amazon, but there's some medical options. Uh, I guarantee you if someone is into medical and you buy them some replenished stuff for their kit like that, they're going to thank you. Um, and then lastly, some gun guy stuff. So let me pull this down here. Okay. All right. So first of all, we got to talk about Neomag. So you have Neomag, the traditional one, and you have the Neomag Rask. So the Neomag, if you're not familiar um, is just a way to pocket carry a spare magazine. So this is the one with the tall clip. You can get it with a shorter clip as well, but it's just this little uh, piece of metal, has a magnet here and a pocket clip. You slap that on the side of your magazine and now you can carry this down in your pocket. And if you want to draw the mag, you kind of just pull up on that. This stays in your pocket and you can draw your mag, do a reload. This is a great way to EDC a spare magazine. And I brought out this one here as well. This has a uh, Shield Arms Plus 5 extension on it. That's what this uh, extended uh, clip is really good for. So you can even get an ex a longer magazine down in your pocket like that. Um, they make one specifically for Glock, I think, that have uh, two magnets on it just to be able to get through the side of this a little bit better as opposed to a steel magazine. Um, but these actually, the standard one works just fine for Glock magazines in my opinion. Um, but those are a great option uh, if someone in your life carries a, a handgun every day and they want to carry a spare magazine in the pocket. Uh, I think these run around 50 bucks. And then the Neomag Rask is the same concept, but for a revolver speed strip. So you can get like the Bianchi speed strips. Uh, you can get like a two pack of these for like 10 bucks. Odds are, if someone's carrying a revolver already, they have some of these speed strips around. But then you, what you're buying is just this piece here with the pocket clips. So you undo these screws, you slick it, you stip, uh, it. I'm sorry, I'm uh, not being able to do my words very well here. You back your, these screws out, you slip your speed strip underneath there, you tighten them down, and now you have basically a pocket clip to slip this into a pocket. And uh, the, the hardest part about carrying revolver reloads is they kind of just float around in your pocket and it's not a very consistent draw like carrying a magazine is. But with this, you're able to orient your clip on either side, you can flip this around. Um, and then you always have your uh, speed strip in the same orientation every time to do a reload. So if someone carries a J-frame or a revolver or anything like that, these are great options. All right, you can, get, you can get both of those on Amazon, by the way. And then the last thing, P-Mags. If the person in your life is a gun guy or gun girl, they can never have too many P-Mags. Um, the, you can get them on all kinds of different sales right now. You can get them right from Magpul. You can get them from all the major uh, uh, gun accessory dealers. Uh, you can get the standard cap or the lower cap magazines. I brought out a 30, a 20, and a 10 just because options. Um, but you can never have too many of these. Again, it's always good to have more magazines uh, just for training purposes or for stockpiling, all that stuff. But uh, if someone that you know w runs an AR and uh, they use P-Mags, uh, they will never say no to more P-Mags. More P-Mags is always good. You can get them anywhere from like 10 to $15 a piece. They're cheap. Buy someone five or six of them. They'll be very happy with you. I guarantee it. So that is the end of the list, guys. Uh, I hope some of this stuff was helpful for you. Let me pull out some of this stuff again just to 
kind of give you something to look at as I do my outro. I just wanted to throw my hat in the ring there for, uh, for some options for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any other ideas. Drop them down in the comments to give other people some ideas. Uh, like I said, I will leave links to all of these down in the description. I hope this was helpful to you, and Merry Christmas. I will see you guys in the next video.